The progress we've collectively made for women workers at risk. There are three main reasons for this, as we all know. First, job loss. About two and a half million women have dropped out or have been forced out of the workforce during the pandemic. Many work in lower wage jobs, jobs that have been undervalued for far too long and underpaid for far too long. Second, small businesses are closing. Last February, around five million women were business owners and two months later, by April, one in four had closed their doors. Good afternoon, everybody. How is everyone doing today? This is your stimulus check update and news report. A bulk of jobless claims are due to repeat pandemic layoffs, according to a report from CNBC. Almost two in three workers who began receiving benefits in October had collected them at least one other time since April. And folks, let's not forget, House Democrats were busy last week advancing a wide range of stimulus relief provisions, all part of Joe Biden's $1.9 trillion plan. Start with the COVID relief that is on everyone's mind. In, in your new role, you are, have your eye on some of your old colleagues. Uh, does this plan get passed the way the president wants it? What is, what's on your mind this week? Yes, we think this plan is going to get passed. A lot of it uh, is going to be because of the hard work that the president and vice president putting in in articulating uh, the need for this plan. I'll be giving away a total of $500 in Amazon gift cards. And best of all, I will not be choosing just one winner. Several of you guys will win a free Amazon gift card. Now, all that you have to do to win is subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and give this video a like. And don't forget to check out my good friend, Bailey David. She provides you with the best stimulus check updates and is helping as much people as possible by giving away a free Amazon gift card. So folks, go check out Bailey David's channel in the link below. What do you think, everybody? Will Congress be able to pass the stimulus checks before the end of the month and before the unemployment benefits expire in mid-March? Tell me down in the comments. Leave a comment down below saying yes or no. To members of Congress, but also because the public is so vocal about the need for it and the fact that we need it right now, we shouldn't wait, we shouldn't delay. And I think that uh, that is having a big effect. Uh, the public support for it will help us get it through. I feel as if uh, we've worked the staff 24 seven for a number of weeks now to make sure that we stay on schedule. Now the coming week, now this coming week, the House Budget Committee will assemble a final bill based off the measures approved by at least nine committees. Most of them, but not all, adhere closely to what Biden outlined in his proposal last month. The full House may pass legislation as soon as next week, but it could face hurdles in the Senate, where Democrats cannot afford to lose a single vote. Time is of the essence, everybody. An estimated 11.4 million workers will lose their unemployment benefits between mid-March and mid-April, unless Congress passes its next relief package in the coming weeks. This House, this House bill will provide direct payments worth up to $1,400 per person. And that means a family of four could receive up to, could receive up to $5,600. Individuals earning less than $75,000 a year and married couples earning less than $150,000 will be sent the full amount. But not everyone who received the previous stimulus check would be eligible for this round. The payments would phase out faster and completely cut off individuals earning more than $100,000 and families earning more than $200,000. In regards to unemployment assistance, the House bill would extend two key pandemic unemployment programs all the way through August 29th. It would also increase the federal weekly boost to $400 from the current $300 and continue it for the same time period. The president's plan had called for continuing the benefits through the end of September. Out-of-work Americans will start running out of pandemic unemployment assistance and pandemic emergency unemployment compensation benefits in mid-March. And for those of you on SSI and SSDI, most SSI and SSDI recipients didn't receive their first payments via Direct Express card, though this is usually the, though this is usually the way the government uses to distribute federal benefits. Instead, the payment arrived through a non-direct Express bank account or a paper check. If you didn't have your bank account information on file with the IRS, so my first week in office, I spoke with a group of small business owners, many of whom are women, and they talked about how tough it is right now to keep their businesses up and running while balancing all of their responsibilities at home. 
In fact, one woman, Caitlin James, held her newborn throughout our conversation, which was by Zoom, because of course she was juggling all of the demands um, that, that are her daily struggle. Um, which brings me to the child care crisis. Because this child care crisis is a double-edged sword. As homes have become makeshift classrooms, many working women have been forced to cut their hours or leave their jobs entirely. And as child care centers have closed, child care providers, many of whom are women, have lost their jobs. At the beginning of the pandemic, the child care sector alone lost nearly 400,000 jobs. Half of those jobs have yet to return. And I know that this is personal for me, this is personal for everyone here. Um, many of you are working mothers. Many of you are caring for your own parents, sandwiched between two generations. And all of you are a voice of women who have been severely impacted by this pandemic, which is why you know it has created a perfect storm for women. And the longer we wait to act, the harder it will be to bring these millions of women back into the workforce. And let me be clear, we all know this, our economy cannot fully recover unless women can participate fully. So I, I believe, I think we all believe, this is a national emergency. Women leaving the workforce in these numbers, it's a national emergency, and it demands a national solution. So that brings me to the American Rescue Plan, which I know you all are familiar with, you have read, you... Now the, Biden, now the stimulus proposal from Joe Biden expands stimulus payment eligibility for all dependents of all ages including young adults to age 17 to 14, and other adult dependents. Now Biden's proposal also included, now Biden's proposal also includes a payment of up to $1,400 for all dependents, no matter their age, to be added on to the household's total. And that means if you support an adult dependent, for example, a college student, you may be able to get the higher stimulus check balance in the next round, if this qualification makes into the final bill helped inform. And we do believe that the American Rescue Plan is a very big part of the solution to this issue. Um, and, and, and in many ways, one, it will get immediate relief to women workers, including $1,400 checks to those who need it. And at least you're over age 65 and a recipient of supplemental security income and SSDI. You were eligible for our first and second stimulus check, just so you know. Now folks, that is all the news in this video. Hopefully you guys found this video useful and helpful. If you did, feel free to give my channel a like. If you did, feel free to subscribe to my channel and click the bell. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, have a great day and stay safe.